Hi friends, as always, I'm very excited to see you here. If you're meeting for the first time, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, research and statistics on this channel. To stay updated with the latest on this channel, I urge you to consider subscribing to the channel. Connected Papers is a very effective free tool to suggest related papers in our field. The list of these related papers can be downloaded and used in reference management systems like Mendeley, Zotero and EndNote. Let's see literature review with the free tool Connected Papers in this video. We need to start with a seed paper. It could be a DOI or even the paper title. We start with the browser window and you need to type in connectedpapers.com to open this interface. And this is a fairly simple interface. This is where we have to type in the input and we can try using paper DOI with the paper uh, URL, paper title, or simply we can use any term there. We can start with one of their example graphs as well. On the home page itself, it suggests we can use connected papers to get a visual overview of a new academic field, to make sure we haven't missed out on an important paper to create a bibliography for our thesis or any work we're doing and to discover the most relevant prior and derivative works. We'll explain this also in today's demonstration. Term, let's begin with trying to search for data journalism. As we can see, it is trying to already suggest a lot of uh, ideas to me. I'll just go for data journalism. So let's just enter and this is what the graph looks like. Some of these nodes are darker, some of the nodes are bigger and some of them are outliers, they are far away from the center of the graph. If we want we can zoom uh, in or out. There are two sides here, there are on, on the left on, on the right, we can just see uh, other things as well. So let me explain that to you. For example, there is this paper by Borges Ray 2020. Or if I just click onto this, it takes me to, on the, on the right side of the pane, it provides me with all the information about this particular paper. Towards an epistemology of data journalism, etc, etc. There is the abstract here. I can open this in connected papers. I can open this in Semantic Scholar or I can even open the publisher page. So if I want to see the uh, original uh, journal homepage, I can just click on to that or I can also open Google Scholar here. For example, if I open Google Scholar, it will show me this particular article and I can see here that it's been cited by 64 etc. And other related work also I can see over here. I can also open it on the journal homepage if required. So this is how it appears on the journal homepage. As we can see, this is darker. So this means it's a more recent article. The lighter ones, as you can see, this one is from 2013 by Anderson. This from Lewis is from 2013. So this is one very simple part of it. We can expand this particular pane here to get more information about that. So we can expand this over here. This shows me this entire thing in a table. So for example, this one by Esther Applegren and Gunnar Negrain, it has 112 citations, it has 15 references and similarity to origin is 100. So my original title was Data Journalism. This is almost 100% similar to that. There are other articles which are kind of uh, related but not very similar according to the algorithms of this particular application. For example, Data Driven Journalism and Public Good Computer Resisted Reports etc. It, it says that the similarity to origin is 27.5. 
I can get all the details about these things here. The moment I come to a particular uh, article, I just need to hover over that and I can get the details on the right side as I just said. This gives me information about the ones which have been cited very often. I get complete information here and the drop down list here is based on the similarity to origin. So the top one is very similar to the origin and so on and so forth. I can uh, reverse this order as well. I can download this on my computer. So I just need to download it on my computer. And later on, I'll show you how to open it onto Zotero, for example. I can just collapse that. And there are two very important pieces of information here as well on the home page. One is the prior works. So if I click onto prior works, this gives me a list of work in the field which are related and which have been done already. And similarly, I can just uh, see the list here and we can just see citations and other things. So how many citations in the graph? So they are very much related. So in the graph, they are related to almost 27 other papers. So this is a very, very simple way of suggesting uh, what are the prior works in the field. The other is using derivative works, the work which is derived. So this means they are either surveys or of the field or recent relevant works which were inspired by many papers in the graph. So these are the papers that cited many of the papers that we saw in the graph. The graph was, this is the graph they are talking about. So we can get information about prior works. And this entire list which we downloaded in the uh, bib form, it can be opened in a reference management system. For example, I have downloaded this entire thing onto my computer and I can open it using Zotero. So I just need to file, import, it's there on my downloads, I just need to connect it. This entire list is available here and we can see that there are 41 items in this particular view. So this is a very easy way of finding out about related papers. So we can show an updated graph as well. And the good thing is that it shows me the latest possible work here. Similarly, if I have a DOI, I can search through those DOI as well. So if, if uh, there is anything on Google Scholar, for example, I can use that particular paper and this is the DUI I have about a contemporary history of digital journalism so I will just copy this DOI it will show me the drop down here the moment I put in the DOI here I'll just click on to that so the graph is building up as we can see And here I have this, these related papers. And as we can see that it has papers from 1999 to 2013. So using this tool, we can very easily get an idea about the other related work in our field. And uh, we can also see work which is prior to this or which are derived from this particular work. And as we've already shown that we can download that and we can export that to any of those reference management systems. Thanks for staying along friends. This was the 100th video on this channel. I'll be back with the 101st video very soon. Till then, have a great time.